So back when I was a wee little tofu in elementary, my world revolved around Yu-Gi-Oh. Leave it to a Japanese cartoon about a card game to showcase some of the coolest characters ever while coming up with crap like power of friendship and belief in the heart of the cards. Obviously, to an average person, that just sounds like complete garbage. But slap that in front of a sheltered me, and it is the most segoyous frickin' thing ever. The Dark Magician, the Bude, Exodia, the Egyptian gods, the whole shebang. Of course, though, this was back when the cards were super simple and didn't require a friggin' magnifying glass to read the effects. Now, Yu-Gi-Oh! was pretty popular at my school. And surprisingly, my school recognized Yu-Gi-Oh! as one of the greatest gifts to humanity and made it their goal to cultivate this passion that many children had. Teachers would encourage us to play, even discuss strategies during lectures. Our school opened a Yu-Gi-Oh! varsity team! <laughs> That's not true. Psych! Yu-Gi-Oh! was forbidden and super illegal because, huge surprise, I went to private school. What? Oh my gosh, John, a YouTube animator, went to a private school as well? Who would have thought? What? <laughs> That's what a crazy world we live in. I admit it, yes. On top of the usual restrictions like uniforms, gross vegetarian cafeteria food, yada yada yada, YouTube story time animator topic cliches, Yu-Gi-Oh! and school also did not mix. My elementary school was pretty strict about this. I mean, who knew that contrary to anime, you weren't allowed to play Yu-Gi-Oh! on school grounds. In fact, you weren't allowed to play any card games. I think it had to do something with it being demonic or some form of gambling, whether we bet our souls to the Shadow Realm or Cheetos. I don't know. It's the same in their eyes. We would have supervisors watching us at all times, and if they saw us, they would come over and be like, all right, you nerds, put those away right now or I will take them and throw them in the trash where they belong. But you know what? Screw you. I call foul, sir. You don't seem to have a problem with people reading during recess like Harry Potter or books about talking cats fighting. That sounds pretty messed up to me. I'd like to argue that playing card games is way better. Cultivating strategic cognitive skills, math, reading comprehension, socialization, and most important of all, there are pictures. Prove to me that books can do the same thing. But whatever. When we are given the choice between playing a card game that we loved and being little responsible school children, we chose crime. Because sometimes the heart of the cards guides you to break rules, i.e playing in the supervisor's blind spot while having a dedicated kid act as a lookout. Now, for the most part, that plan worked. It just really sucked when it didn't. For example, one time I excitedly brought my favorite cards to school because they were mostly the ones you've seen in the anime. I was showing them off to my friends during recess, but then apparently my other friend, whom we'll call Bigfoot, freaking snitched on me. And because of him, a supervisor came and took my cards gave them to my teacher, and I had to wait till after school to get them back. And not only that, I had to bring my parents for a parent-teacher conference. And when we got home, they held on to my cars for a whole nother week as some kind of cruel and unusual punishment. So that was not a good day. I know there could have been worse situations like never getting them back, or they ended up throwing my cards away. But shut up, I don't want to think about that. I still haven't forgiven Bigfoot to this day. But just exactly how far did we go to keep this game a secret from our teachers? Well, every Friday after school, a group of friends and I would sneak into the high school side, because apparently that's a private school thing. There are no supervisors in high school. And also, we thought that once the high schoolers got out of class, we could blend in because we looked cool and mature and obviously could pass as high schoolers. No. Anyways, we would always play in this room outside where the band would practice. It was like our haven, our spot. And even the high schoolers who played Yu-Gi-Oh would join us, which was pretty cool. In the corner, there was also this little Asian girl, younger than us, who would set up shop with her huge Hello Kitty roller backpack and sell Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Now, were they stupidly overpriced? Yes. But when you show a bunch of financially irresponsible huge nerds a pack of rare cards, well, that's just easy money right there. 
I wouldn't be surprised if businesswoman or scam artist was on her occupation list. High school eventually came. We don't talk about what happens in junior high, but high school was a lot more relaxed with the restrictions. Most of the teachers didn't care, as long as it wasn't during their class with the exception of the librarian during study hall. I don't know, apparently we're supposed to do productive stuff like studying, but <laughs> does that. But even with fewer restrictions, like the older I grew, the less inclined I became to play because there were, how should I say, other things on my mind. Like I believed high school was a time to hang out with cool people and impress girls, but you accomplish neither of those things sitting in some secluded corner pushing up your glasses with two fingers saying stuff like, ha, I thumbin, or not so fast, you activated my trap card. Yeah, real way to woo the ladies with that last one. <laughs> well actually, I don't know about you, but the dark magician girl is the only girl I need. No! And I guess that's when I started phasing out. Probably for the best, because as the circle of people playing grew, so did the unnecessary drama and toxicity. Some kids would take it way too seriously, someone's cards would get stolen, and my insect deck could just no longer compete with everyone else's more updated and OP decks. You know, it's not the most fun thing in the world when your opponent's cards are just invincible. So it was time for me to move on, choose something else that is more acceptable in society, something more popular, something that would make me quote unquote cool. So I decided to play Pokemon. <laughs> and then I graduated, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links came out on the App Store and it helped carry me through college. And that was my experience with Yu-Gi-Oh! in school, mostly full of breaking school rules and wasting a stupid amount of money on, dare I say, fancy pieces of paper. I can't be all motivational and say, oh, I didn't care what other people thought about me. <laughs> because I did. Very much so. It was just very unfortunate in high school that Yu-Gi-Oh! or my nerdiness turned into something that I was self-conscious and somewhat embarrassed about. But... Like, no matter what I did, if someone mentioned or displayed the slightest enthusiasm for Yu-Gi-Oh, I would get that excited feeling that I once had as a kid. And as time went by, I just came to accept the fact that, you know what, I am a nerd. I'm sorry, I like building decks. I like picking up cards with two fingers. And I may or may not have bought some new cards to bolster my insect deck last year because I'm an adult with money, but that's not important. What is important is that even though I don't play that much anymore and I'm left with boxes full of cards that I spent hundreds of dollars on, sometimes questioning whether it was worth it, I can't deny how much Yu-Gi-Oh has influenced me growing up. From making friends, teaching me how to draw monsters and dragons, to how I play other casual card games, Yu-Gi-Oh will always have that special place in my heart. You might even say that I still have the heart of the cards. <laughs> uh, does that make me a huge nerd? Probably. But I don't care. I don't know if that ending made sense. But the point is, you can still be a nerd and still be cool. Alright? Anyways. Hey guys! It's been a while. <laughs> Feels like forever since I've done a video and, a, and an end card, but it's good to be back. I had a really nice break. And now I'm ready to get back on things and upload more videos. Got a lot of exciting things in the works, so I think this is a perfect reason for you to subscribe and turn on notifications and all that good stuff. But that'll be it for this end card. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. But until then, continue to stay safe and stay young.